welcome back to my channel. Today is November 1st and we are looking outside my backyard. The snow is melting again, even though I just snowed all day. Anyways, let's get on to what I'm going on about today. First, I wanted to show you the food that I have left after a month of no buying groceries. First, we're going to look into my freezer. As you can see, it's still... It's a lot emptier than it was at the beginning of the month, but there's still quite a bit of stuff in here. I mean, if I took this out, which is pretty much empty now, it's still pretty full. I mean, I could probably go longer without buying groceries if I really wanted to. So that's my big freezer. Go over to my little freezer, which is really still quite full of food, all kinds of food. We got tons of tomatoes that I'm going to make sauce out of, and frozen cookies, and a bunch of other stuff. And we go into the fridge. It's not so full. It's mostly just condiments and stuff like that. And down here, this is dinner for today. It's just pork, and there's really nothing down there. I do have to clean out my fridge. There's just a couple oranges left for like one, two, three oranges and four apples. Some tomatoes still. And then in here, I got carrots and a bunch of onions and some kohlrabi from the garden. And those are leftovers, and that's pretty much it. And then in the door, it's just all condiments and stuff like that, which I'm trying to use up as well. And I'm going to show you my other... Oh, and then of course down here, this is a little bit emptier than it was. i take that down. I mean, we used up quite a bit of stuff. And, but it's still pretty full, and, yep, still pretty full. Now I'm going to show you my extra food storage. Okay, so this down here is my extra food storage that I have in the basement. And, I just, I just use a curtain to keep the light out. Top shelf is nothing, just storage. Down here, I got some empty, like, I used two liter bottles of water. We've got some, one more bag of, whoops, noodles. And then some more coconut oil, pear, corn, tomato paste, two cans of Pepsi, and some tuna, some condensed milk right there, and some oyster sauce. And then down here, I have some more potatoes, some more coffee and all my canned goods. And then the bottom shelf is all canned goods and some more empty bottles of water and a jug of vinegar. That's all I have for food. All right, so now that you've seen what I have left over or after a month of no spending, I did go ahead and buy some things. The two things that I really needed were flour and sugar. So. This side is Superstore, and this side is Walmart, except for those two little things back there. So at Superstore, I spent $52.60. So let's see here. I got, I'm running low on hamburger meat. So this was $15.96. It was... 288 a pound so that is really low when here for ground beef and then I got some butter which was 387 which is also a really low price sugar was on sale for 448 and the flour was 596 which was also on sale these were a dollar 96 I believe or a dollar 97 and these were 297 and I have been craving avocados like nothing. And then these were on sale for 397. 
There's like nine peppers in here. That's an amazing deal. And then I wanted lettuce for salad. So this was $1.98, I think. Or no, 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 not $1.98. It was $1.68, sorry. And this big two pound thing of strawberries was $3.48. And this was 97 cents for the cucumber. And $1.90 for the apples. I already ate one though. There was six apples. And then these were on sale for $4.97, but I got them for 30% off. So I ended up only paying about $3.50 for them. And so that's everything that I got at Superstore. Mostly just produce, fresh fruit because I really needed that. And then my flour because I had no flour. And over here, I got some things from Walmart. First, I got the sour cream. It was on clearance, 50% off. So I got it for $1.49. And then I really wanted egg noodles for a... Uh, for like a stroganoff dish I want to make. Kind of exactly what it's showing on here is what I want to make. And then I bought two bags of um, noodles, some um, pen and macaroni. They were 90 cent, 98 cents each. And the, I needed brown rice for some dishes that I'm going to make. This was $4.48. A little bit pricier than I wanted to pay, but... Oh well, and then I got this whole bag here, the potatoes and two avocados and cherry tomatoes. I got it all for $2. It was on clearance at Walmart. And then what I went there for specifically were these ribs. They were on sale for $1.77 a pound. So this one was only $6.37. And this one was six fifty one. Those ex excellent price for ribs, and probably this will one of these racks will be for like two different meals. So that's four meals right here, and this one thing of uh, meat is about twelve, at least minimum twelve meals, because I cut it and then I cut it, make it into like six sections on each side so that right there is like 12 and 6 is 18 meals right there and then I'm going to be making some meatless meals so this is everything that I'm going to buy for November and so sometimes like I said because I have so much food I won't be buying anything else and let uh, sometimes my bill is under 100 and sometimes it's more but that is all for this month and the Walmart was total was 24.47 which rounds up to 24.45 and yeah we, that's all for the month of November oh I almost forgot I found these things at Superstore, they are Narcissus, and they were 74 cents each. And there's five to six bulbs in here, so I went ahead and bought five of those, and I'm gonna use them as Christmas gifts. So I, I thought that was a really good idea for 74 cents, you can't really go wrong. And I'm gonna plant them and uh, give one bulb to. Uh, probably for teacher gifts and stuff like that. And I just want to share that with you. And that's all for today for this haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.